guys. So today I'm going to do my March favorites for you. I know they're late. Mine are pretty much late every month. I'm just going to jump straight into the products. I have a ton of makeup that I want to show you guys that I picked up or rediscovered in my collection throughout the past month um, that I've been loving and using regularly. And then I'm doing something a little new this month. I know there are a lot of girls who do kind of their hits and misses of the month and I never really thought about doing that because I don't come across that many products every month that I hate or just don't like or that don't work for me. But this month I came across a couple products that were kind of iffy for me and I wanted to share those with you guys. There are things that I love about these products and there are things that I can't stand about these products and I just want to put it out there, see if you guys have tried them, have the same problems, or if I'm just crazy. But to start off, I'm going to talk about the things that I really, really love this month. Firstly, there are a couple nail polishes that I want to show you, and two of them are wet and wild, so they're actually pretty inexpensive. Um, and I picked these up at CVS, and I think they were both less than $3. Um, the purple one is called On a Trip, and the green one is called Need a Refreshment. I was just really impressed with these. I'm always really surprised by Wet n Wild nail polishes. I always expect them to be complete crap because they're so inexpensive. And I'm always pleasantly surprised. So I love both of those. They're just very creamy and very appropriate for spring. Another nail polish that I've been loving this past month is from Zoya. And this color is called Cassie. Yeah, I just had to double check. Um, it's a nice peachy color with a little bit of a golden shimmer in it. And I have been in a very peachy slash coral phase this month. And I think it's because coral is kind of one of the colors for my wedding. The girls aren't wearing coral or anything, but the flowers for the wedding are coral. Um, kind of that like corally pink and then the bright green and then like some white hydrangeas. So I've just been very in a coral mood. And I've been looking at a lot of coral makeup because I'm trying to figure out, you know, exactly how I want to wear my makeup, exactly what nail polish I want to wear. Um, so I've been picking up a lot of coral stuff, and you're going to see that throughout my favorites. Um, yeah, just been loving the coral lately. I even have coral nail polish on right now. Um, this is Sally Hansen's Coral Reef that I saw in my friend Brittany's nail polish video. I didn't include it, even though I love it because I just bought it. Um, now I'm going to do my cheek products, and this is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, and the color is Sunny. This is... A, a lot of people's favorite. I never actually tried it, but I found it at Target on clearance for probably, I think it was like $2.30 something cents. Um, so I wanted to give it a try and I really do love it. It's not overly pigmented. I don't want to say that because that sounds bad, but it, it's not like crazy dark. Like the NARS Laguna bronzer, you just need a dab of it. And sometimes that can be too much, especially if you're someone like me who gets really fair in the winter and then as you're trying to get back into tanning you don't want to put on a really dark bronzer just to start off so this is kind of a perfect transition bronzer for me um, to build back up to my NARS Laguna once I have you know tanned my body and everything another cheek product that I've really been loving this month and this is another kind of peachy color um, this is called Twinkle Pink and it's by e.l.f. and you guys know I love e.l.f. blushes I have so many of them and I think they're three dollars this really pretty, just really soft, peachy pink color, and then it has some gold sparkle, but the sparkle doesn't really show up. I have this blush on right now, um, and you can see it's just a really soft, peachy color. And then another cheek product that I picked up lately is Posy Tint. And way back in high school, I used to use the original Benetint all the time. I loved it. I used it as a lip stain, mainly not on my cheeks as much. Um, but then it spilled in my purse, and it stained my entire bag and I mean obviously it was my fault but after that I've kind of been turned off from the benefit um, tints but I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this on YouTube lately and it just looks so pretty and the consistency of it is kind of unique um, and it just looked like a really cool product so I had to try it out and I really have been loving it um, especially for this time of year it just gives you that beautiful pink flush to your cheeks and I think this will be perfect for the wedding too um, a couple other lip products I have been these are both kind of coral colors. So um, this is the e.l.f. Mineral Lip Gloss. You guys know that I love these e.l.f. Mineral Lip Glosses. I've shown them a lot. Um, this color is wild, and it is just a creamy coral color. Um, it looks like it has a little bit of gold shimmer. And then what I'm wearing on my lips right now, which is more of a pink, but it still has some warm, you know, kind of coral undertones, is this color from CoverGirl. And this is called Temptress. It's number 400. 
And for me, every time I want to wear a pink lipstick, I always end up going for something a little warmer. Um, I feel like if I wear a pink lipstick that's too blue, it doesn't look right on my skin tone. Um, so I always lean more towards pinks and reds that have more like orangey undertones. Um, one more face product that I forgot to show before is the Sonia Kashuk, and I'm sorry, it has like a fuzz on it. The Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette, which Fleur de Force, I think, talks about this all the time, or maybe it's Ingrid. Um, one of those girls talks about this all the time. I've never tried it out, but um, like I said, I've been looking for concealers that I can use under my eyes that aren't going to accentuate my fine lines, and um, I've had this for a couple weeks, and so far I haven't really had any problems with it. I don't wear it every day. But it is really, really creamy, and I feel like it kind of moisturizes. It's not overly drying. Um, and it comes with this little setting powder, which I've just been using with a tiny brush just to kind of go over and set my concealer. Um, but so far, I've been really happy with that. I only use this lightest shade right here under my eyes. This one is a little dark for me. I feel like if you had a little bit darker skin, though, because this one is, like, so peachy, it would work really well for under eye circles. Then this one is green. It's supposed to be for blemishes, but... I've, I'm always really scared to try the green concealers for some reason. Another thing that I've been using so much, and I showed this last summer, and this is the same one that I've had since last summer, and I probably wore this every single day last summer. Um, and, like, look how much is left. It's ridiculous. I don't know if I'm just a really light perfumer or what, but I use this pretty much every day last summer. I just pulled it back out. It is seriously my favorite perfume scent that I've ever found. It's the La Vanilla Vanilla Grapefruit. So it's really sweet and vanilla, but you also get that citrusy grapefruit scent that kind of cuts through all that sweetness. And it, when I put this on, it just reminds me of summer. I don't know. I guess because I wore it all summer last year. Um... And Harry always notices when I wear this, and he told me that I smell like candy. So, I mean, how can you go wrong with that? I did figure out, though, the reason that it does look like it's so full is because you can see the packaging, how it, like, tapers at the bottom. So, like, once it gets down to here, it's going to go really fast, probably. Okay, and then a couple other things that I had to show you guys. I'm sure you figured out by now, or maybe you haven't. I kind of stalk Sam Sherman. Um, I really love her. I just love her videos. She's so down to earth. She just seems so relatable and she just seems like she would just be your best friend if you wanted her to. It's just so sweet and she's a mom and she's pregnant right now and I'm just like so happy for her and I just love watching her videos and anyways every time she mentions a product I'm like I have to try that. If Sam Sherman says that it's good then it has to be good. Um, so lately she's been talking about a couple things. First of all she talks about this Lorac eyeshadow in negligee. Um, which is actually really gorgeous, and that's what I have in my eyes right now, so I've been wearing that a lot. Um, I actually picked up a little Lorac gift set from an Outlook sale whenever it was on there, like a month ago, I think. Um, and it came with this color as well, which is Boudoir, which is kind of a purpley brown color. Um, so both of those colors are what I'm wearing on my eyes right now, and I've been wearing this a lot, especially on the weekends when I want a little bit more of kind of a smoky eye, but nothing, you know, too crazy, so... Those two eyeshadows are just really gorgeous, and um, Sam Sherman talks about this one. I think she uses this one as a, like a cheek highlight. I haven't really tried that yet, but I love it on my eyes, and I love how it really brightens up the inner corners. And one more thing that I learned about from Sam Sherman are these BH Cosmetics lip liners. Um, and while I was on there, I also picked up one of the waterproof eyeliners and then one of the liquid liner pens. And all of these things... Are seriously amazing and they all cost well I don't know I can't remember how much this one cost these were like two dollars and something I think this one was like three dollars this one was less than five I'm pretty sure um, but there's just so gorgeous and they stay on and it's really it's a strange sensation when you first put these on um, because they kind of set and it's like the color doesn't but these are the colors that I have um, this one is raspberry this one in the middle is earth and then this one is fuchsia and those are the swatches. So you have raspberry, which is kind of more of a warm pink. And then you have fuchsia, which is more of a purpley pink. Um, and then earth, which is just like a brownish nude color. But look at that. They don't go anywhere once they're set. It's so crazy. And when you put it on your lips, it's like it lasts all day. So I'm just wearing, like, this one is really, really fun to wear. Um, 
So I've been just wearing that and then no, just nothing on top, just this. Like I moisturized my lips before and then use that and it doesn't budge. Um, and then I got just the black waterproof eyeliner in Onyx, which I've been wearing in my waterline a lot. It's the same way. It's very um, pigmented and it also lasts really well. It does need touching up by the end of the day if you put it in your waterline, but if you put it on your lower lash line or on your upper lash line, it stays really well. Um, it's really soft and it transfers really easily and you can smudge it out a little bit but once it's set it's like set so that's really great and I'm thinking about using this for my wedding um, I've just been kind of testing it out like I've been testing out a lot of waterproof products because I know that I'm gonna be completely emotional and ridiculous on my wedding day like I already know because even just talking about it makes me already tear up so anyways um, the other eyeliner that I got is the BH Liquid Eyeliner, and I love eyeliners like this. I especially like this one because it's very short. The tip of it is very short, but it's also very flexible, um, and you can do thick lines and thin lines pretty easily. I'm just spastic. Ignore that. Um, but it's also very black, and I am not, I am not the best at putting on eyeliner liquid eyeliner especially on my upper lash line and eyeliners like this that are like a pin make it so 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 much easier for me so um, I really really love this one. Those are all of my absolute 100% favorites and now I have some products that are kind of iffy. Um, the first one is the L'Oreal Magic Smooth Souffle and I was tweeting about this and the thing that makes me so sad about this product is it looks absolutely gorgeous on my skin when I first put it on. Like, it just looks, it's everything that I've ever wanted in a foundation. It gives me good coverage. It hides all my imperfections. It smooths out my skin. It makes my skin look so smooth without being like a mask. It's not really dry and really heavy. It, I still get some glow and just that natural finish to my skin. It's literally everything that I've ever wanted in a foundation. But fast forward three hours and it's settling all around my nose and around my mouth and kind of coming off. It fades away. It doesn't come off in like big chunks or anything, which is good, but it does just fade away. I lose a lot of my coverage. Um, and then I start to get really shiny in the T-zone especially. So it made me really sad because I love it so much, but if it's going to look like that after three hours, there's really no point. Um... But let me know what you guys think. My color is 522 Natural Beige. The other really weird thing about this foundation is when you put it on, when you start to put it on, it looks ridiculously too dark for your skin. And then as you work it in, it matches perfectly. I don't know. It's so weird because see how dark that is compared to my face? But once I start blending it in, it just blends in perfectly and it looks beautiful. And it, it was heartbreaking when I realized that it wasn't going to work for me. Um long term. And then the last thing that I love and hate at the same time is this L'Oreal and I don't even know what this is called but I love it because the formula is ridiculously volumizing and that makes me really happy but the brush is so ridiculous and it's not even just like a giant brush it's like a giant brush that's like also chunky and it just makes it impossible not to get mascara where you don't want it and I always get little chunks that fall out or I get like one clump of lashes that just like stick together and refuse to separate um, so I love this I just wish that the brush was different because the brush makes it really hard especially if you're anal like me to get all your lashes kind of separated and evenly coated so those are my March favorites I'm just gonna go ahead and be honest with you guys I probably won't have an April favorites because I'm getting married on April 28th and honestly I don't see myself you know, spending my honeymoon coming and filming. But that's okay because I'm planning to pre-film a lot of videos over the next month so you guys won't have these big gaps in videos um, and hopefully that will take me through the wedding and everything and um, yeah, I'm really excited. I can't wait for, you know, our wedding and <sighs> yeah. um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!